So we're back again with the Anchor 767 Powerhouse. And I'm gonna run this heater here just for a few minutes. We're gonna see how it does. The battery is on 99%, so it's not 100% charged, but it's 99%. And I'm gonna run this thing for 15 minutes on high. And we're gonna see what percentage we lose within that 15 minutes. These heaters are energy hogs. They take a lot of power. But let's get this going. So we got it on high. It's already pulling a thousand watts, fifteen hundred watts. And it's not gonna cycle on and off. I actually have the air condition on it here. I got this turned up on high. It's hot outside, so it's not like I'm needing to cool the to warm the house up. So I'm gonna let this run for about 15 minutes come back and check and see how much battery we have left on the uh, 767 powerhouse. All right, so we've been 15 minutes running this heater. So let's see what's going on. We have 79% of the battery left, says we have another hour of run time. It's still pulling 1421 watts out, so uh, yeah, it never let up. It went over a thousand when we fired it up and it's done that. It's been like that the whole time. So we're gonna kill this now. And we can watch the temp start to go back down. As the heater goes off. All right, so uh, if you had a big heater like this and you was gonna run it wide open, I would definitely recommend getting the expansion battery because you're looking at just maybe about an hour without the expansion battery or hour and a half. If you get the expansion battery, you're going to double your, your run time. Right now, the unit without the expansion battery is 2,048 watt hours. You get an expansion battery, you'll double the watt hours, which will double your run time. So yes, it'll run that big heater, but it's not going to run it for very long. And like I said, that was wide open. They got smaller heaters. I got some smaller heaters that'll do about 500 watts or whatever. It'll run a lot longer, but I just, I was just curious to see, see what would happen within 15 minute period, how many uh, watts it would pull and how much power we had left in the uh, Anchor 767. Thank y'all for taking time out with me to check out what the Anchor 767 powerhouse would do with the heater. If you're interested in your own 767 power station, just look in the comments. We're gonna have a link to our webpage and you can get on there and shop around anything we show in our videos, whether it's the power stations, complete solar generator kits, or just a solar panel. We will have on our webpage, which, we're, uh, which will be in the comments and you can just get, get in there and shop around. Thank y'all for taking time out with us and hope you enjoyed the video.